Welcome back to Fox Recaps. Today, I'm going to explain the movie Super Bodyguard, released in the year 2016. The movie opens up with the protagonist of the story, Wu Lin, who's showing off his abilities to do splits in the middle of the street. Surprisingly, a little boy approaches him and starts teasing him, holding an ice cream and making funny faces. The boy also pees in front of him and later brings the ice cream near to Wu Lin's mouth. Out of nowhere, a group of thugs arrive there, chasing away the richest businessman in town, Mr. Lee. During their commotion, the thugs push the little boy to the ground, stepping on his ice cream. Because of this, the little boy starts crying and Wu Lin gets up from his split position. The thugs follow Mr. Lee to a warehouse-like place and suggest he cooperate with them. At the same time, Wu Lin walks past them and asks about who stepped on the boy's ice cream. When the thugs don't cooperate, an intense fight starts. Wu Lin is revealed to have an excellent knowledge of Kung Fu and fights with more than 15 thugs alone. With his exquisite flying kicks and punches, he defeats the thugs one by one and manages to be the last man standing. After the fight is over, Mr. Lee thanks him for saving his life and offers him a huge amount of money as a reward. However, Mr. Lin refuses to accept the money and walks away. Later, Wu Lin approaches the little boy, who again teases him by saying that he can also do splits like him. Just then, he's surrounded by multiple black cars belonging to the Mafia. The leader of the Mafia group approaches him, and he turns out to be Xiang Li, Wu Lin's childhood friend. Turns out that Wu Lin is in the town looking for Xiang Li. In the next scene, Wu Lin and Xiang Li are sitting inside a bar, drinking some beers. Xiang Li inquires Wu Lin about their master who used to teach them Kung Fu since their childhood. He mentions that while they were learning the 108 iron kicks with the help of the iron feet, he was expelled by the master. After Xiang Li asks about their master's whereabouts, Wu Lin takes out his cremation ashes, implying that he is no more. Upon knowing that his master is dead, Xiang Li cries holding the ashes. Later, when Wu Lin is practicing his Kung Fu push-ups, Zhang Li remembers the master abandoning him for stealing the iron boots from him. Elsewhere, the leader of the Mafia gang, Mr. Fu, kills his own man for betraying him. Wu Lin is then invited to Zhang Li's training center, where they train potential bodyguards. Coincidentally, Mr. Li arrives there looking for a bodyguard for his daughter. He asks Zhang Li to show his best bodyguards. However, when he notices Wu Lin there, he tells Zhang Li that he wants Wu Lin as the bodyguard. Shortly after, Zhang Li talks with Wu Lin and eventually persuades him to be Li's daughter's bodyguard. On their way back home, Mr. Li asks Wu Lin to promise him that he will protect his daughter, Fei Fei, at any cost. Later, they enter a nightclub where Fei Fei is being wrongly treated by some thugs. Luckily, Mr. Li recognizes his daughter being forcefully carried away by a thug and pulls her down. Wu Lin then fights with the thugs, and after that, they return home. In the next scene, Fei Fei comes out of the shower and notices Wu Lin inside the house, practicing splits. Witnessing the unusual situation, she screams loudly. When she gets to know that Wu Lin is her bodyguard, she offers him double the money to leave. However, Wu Lin's principles cannot be deterred by money, so he politely declines. Later, Fei Fei takes Wu Lin to a shopping mall where she finds a perverted boy mistreating a girl. Fei Fei approaches the boy and slaps him, telling him that Wu Lin told him to do so. But when the boy asks Wu Lin, he refuses to recognize Fei Fei. Angry, the boys start chasing Fei Fei around the shopping mall. Wu Lin also makes fun of Fei Fei until she apologizes for her mistake. He then bullies the group of boys and chases them away. At night, we see a group of thugs approaching Fei Fei's house to take her away. But they quickly return back after noticing threads all around the house connected to a bell which will notify Wu Lin if anyone is around. The next day, Wu Lin and Fei Fei go to a fancy restaurant. As Fei Fei enjoys her meal, Wu Lin is keeping guard and inspecting everything. Soon, he analyzes the waitress's movements and concludes that something is wrong. He then takes Fei Fei away from the place but is soon attacked by a group of thugs. While he's fighting, Fei Fei is taken away by the people he saw in the restaurant. After defeating all of the thugs, Wu Lin chases the van around the city. Finally, after a long chase, Wu Lin manages to appear in front of the van and enter through the windshield. He then holds Fei Fei's hand and runs away from the group. At home, Fei Fei seems to be impressed by Wu Lin's skills and his sense of awareness. 
Wu Lin asks Fei Fei about why her father has a lot of enemies and why they want to kidnap her. Fei Fei is speechless as she has no idea about it, but she tells him that she is used to being protected by bodyguards since her childhood. She then goes to her room and cries looking at the pictures of her mother. In the following scene, Zhang Li is talking with Mr. Fu's assistant, who tells him that he's like a son to Mr. Fu and he hopes that he will not disappoint the master. Zhang Li is then asked to capture the father-daughter duo of Mr. Li and Fei Fei by himself. In the next scene, Wu Lin is practicing his 108 iron feet kicks and kung fu skills that he inherited from his master. While practicing, he remembers himself and Zhang Li practicing together with the master during their childhood. He's practicing with so much concentration that he's able to recognize the one who attacked him in the van. With the help of a metal ring, he concludes that the man is actually one of Zhang's men, whom he had met at the beginning of the movie. The next day, Wu Lin meets with Zhang Li at an abandoned steel factory, where the latter asks him to stop protecting Fei Fei. He tells Wu Lin that he is soon going to convert the steel factory into his bodyguard training base, where he can teach his students about the secrets of Iron Feet. However, Wu Lin refuses to obey his orders and asks for an explanation instead. Upon hearing this, Zhang Li gets angry and invites Wu Lin for a one-on-one -on -one fight and urges Wu Lin to show his skills using his iron feet. After a long fight, Wu Lin finally manages to defeat Zhang Li. Angry, Zhang Li tears a piece of his cloth and mentions that he and Wu Lin are no longer brothers. After that, Wu Lin reaches out to Fei Fei and takes her away from the town. When she inquires about what has happened, he replies that she's in danger and a group of powerful mafia are behind her. He then suggests that they stay low until her father finds them. Slowly, they spend time together and start getting closer to each other. While they're hiding from the mafia, Wu Lin teaches Fei Fei some kung fu and Fei Fei teaches Wu Lin to drive the car. Wu Lin reveals to Fei Fei that his boots are 25 kilos each, and he's been practicing a technique called the 108 kicks for the past eight years. On the other hand, Zhang Li remembers how Mr. Fu helped him when he was alone in the streets eating food from the garbage. Later, Mr. Li is brought in front of Mr. Fu, indicating that Zhang Li has successfully captured him. Surprisingly, here we get to know that Mr. Li actually works for Mr. Fu. Moreover, Mr. Fu is actually the one who killed his wife. Mr. Fu then orders Zhang Li to find Fei Fei. Shortly after, Zhang Li fights with some of his men and defeats them easily. He then concludes that his men are still not ready to fight with Wu Lin and suggests they use shackles to face Wu Lin. Later at night, Zhang Li's men arrive at Fei Fei's location and begin searching for her. Wu Lin has already felt the mafia's presence and before they can find out, he runs away from the house along with Fei Fei. Unfortunately, one of Zhang's men spots them running into the woods and the whole crew follows them. After some time, Wu Lin is attacked by Zhang Li's men and Fei Fei is forcefully taken away from him. However, he quickly defeats the men blocking his way and follows the crew to a warehouse. Inside the warehouse, Wu Lin steps into a shackle and gets his legs stuck inside it. Suddenly, a number of Zhang Li's best men start attacking him. Wu Lin fights with them and manages to keep his head up despite it being an unfair fight of five men against one. He outperforms the fighters until the shackles make it difficult to fight against them. Soon, he's caught by a large fighter who throws him around. The fighter also manages to trap both his legs, making it difficult for him to even walk. Despite Wu Lin defeating two of the five fighters against him, he gets emotional when he sees Fei Fei tied to a rope. With the help of the shackles, the big fighter grabs Wu Lin and throws him away to a car, ultimately defeating him. The group then takes Wu Lin to the woods, where Zhang Li hits him with a final punch. Wu Lin is then buried alive by Zhang Li and his men. That night, the rain keeps pouring, making a puddle in the pit. Just then, Wu Lin crawls out of the pit, revealing that he's still alive. He heads straight towards Fei Fei's house and takes out his special iron shoes. He then changes his appearance and heads straight towards Zhang Li's training headquarters. Before he reaches there, around a hundred of the fighters are already waiting for him to arrive. Despite being alone, Wu Lin runs towards them and fights alone. As he has removed his metal shoes, his kicks have become more powerful than before. With amazing speed and footwork, he breaks all of their legs. Later, he forces the fighters to enter the fighting arena and defeats them all one by one. Following this, Wu Lin enters the headquarters and finds the group which defeated him previously. 
This time, Wu Lin defeats the best fighters with his single kick and leaves them bleeding from their mouths. He then walks further into the headquarters to find Mr. Li and Fei Fei locked up inside a cell. Here, it is revealed that the head of the mafia, Mr. Fu, is none other than Wu Lin's father. The scene then shifts to some flashbacks, where we're shown that Mr. Fu and Mr. Li were actually business partners. Mr. Fu killed Mr. Li's wife only because she was a police officer. A fortune teller told Mr. Fu that his son Wu Lin has a great aura, and whoever comes around him will get destroyed. Believing the fortune teller, Mr. Fu decided to kill Wu Lin by throwing him down from a great height. At present, Zhang Li decides to fight with Wu Lin to learn the 108 Iron Kicks. As the two start fighting, both of them seem equal in techniques until Wu Lin kicks right into Zhang Li's ribs and breaks them. An injured Wu Lin tries to get up, but is shot by Fu's assistant. Seeing this, Wu Lin runs towards the assistant, but is shot in the left side of his chest. Luckily, he survives as his heart is on the right side. He then defeats the assistant and approaches Mr. Fu to kill him. He tries his best to attack Mr. Fu, but fails to gather enough courage to kill his own father. Several months later, it is shown that Mr. Li has died because of his fourth stage cancer. The movie ends as Wu Lin scatters the ashes of his master and Zhang Li standing on the top of a cliff. That was all from the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button to help us out. Also, leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie. Until next time, take care.